Oh yeah, I just wanted to say a few words about the early intervention report. Um, I was asked to do a report on early intervention, in fact two reports on early intervention, and the first one I've completed, and that's about the early intervention policies. Things like uh, creating an early intervention foundation, which could drive and motivate early intervention, uh, also do a little bit of investment, recruiting some money from the City of London, uh, and also offering advice to our hopefully 15 uh, early intervention places, 15 different local authority areas that uh, are already started along the early intervention route. So the foundation's pretty important, but there are a number of other issues in there, such as having a 0 to 5 foundation stage. Something everyone understands the primary stage and the secondary stage, they should also have a seamless foundation stage. Uh, between a child being born and a child going to school. So I'd like the Departments of Education and Health to cooperate even more closely to make that a reality and to have proper assessment uh, of the children so that, that actually uh, we can actually figure out where they're going wrong, if they need any help, if mum or dad uh, needs any additional help uh, and they can volunteer for that. So there's lots in the report. If you want a copy, give me a call or drop me an email or respond to this message. Uh, but right now we're setting off on the second report and that report is all about how you finance early intervention. Clearly with the public sector cutbacks, it's not going to be government that's going to be putting its hand in its pocket. So we're trying to be inventive and creative and get finance from the private sector, uh, from the City of London, from philanthropic and uh, ethical investors uh, and local government where, where possible. So we know money's tight, but we're actually going to try and devise instruments, financial instruments, that can recruit that money and put it to the good causes. The good causes are the policies and the programmes we've identified. We had over a thousand different policies and programmes and we've weeded them all out for cost effectiveness and uh, the impacts that they have and we've come up with 19. Now, they may change, if we change the criteria, uh, we could change the, the number there, but uh, a very small number of projects uh, that will use the uh, amount of money that we can raise from these new sources and keep early intervention alive and actually show people that it can work. So, it may not be the best of circumstances at the moment given the economic situation, uh, but we're determined to make early intervention grow, make early intervention such that Every young person and every child in this country has the right to have the social and emotional capability uh, that you and I want for our children. And we can do that by helping uh, those policies develop. That's what we're going to do, and I'll keep you updated here every so often on how we do it.